We are a nation of Christians and Muslims, Jews and Hindus, and non-believers. President Obama's inaugural address was full of religious references, but that one you just heard is stirring some debate. Was it all inclusive to acknowledge non-believers or just offensive? That's me, Sylvia, a Belgian filmmaker living in England and an atheist. That last thing isn't a big deal over here, but when I see the kind of prejudice my American atheist friends have to go through in a country that was actually founded on the principles of freedom of religion and to get away from religious persecution, I am stunned. Atheists are parasites in the sense they are benefiting from everything that religious culture is built in America, but they're doing nothing to add energy into the system. Atheists are hypocrites. Basically, the atheists are just stupid. You know, when I've talked to people all the time, I'm an atheist, I just walk away. Why do they loathe the baby Jesus? The crimes of atheism are still very much with us. My fiancé of four years has been with me through every step of my journey, but he hasn't always agreed with me because he's an atheist. I hate to tell you, you've got to go find somebody else. He's going to be serving the devil. This is what happens every time, and then the atheist gets violent. One new city councilor was sworn in with a solemn affirmation instead of a so help me God, so enraged his critics that they are now threatening to try to remove him from office because he's an atheist. How can you have judgment if you have no faith? And how can I trust you with power if you don't pray? The fear of becoming outcasts keeps many atheists underground. You never really get used to hearing about how bad you are. We're, we're good people. We have morals. Um, we have good ethics. We give back to our community. As a filmmaker, here's how I hope to make a difference. Hug an Atheist will be a documentary film featuring everyday Americans who just happen to be atheists. The film will show how they find meaning and purpose by highlighting how they deal with some of life's key aspects, such as family, work, love, marriage, and grief. We were like pariahs. Nobody would speak to us. It was nobody would let their children play with my son. It always hurts, and the death threats obviously have always hurt my feelings. His life was threatened by fellow troops, and that his rights under the First Amendment were denied. Those are shared human values. When you give up your religion, you don't give up those things that are important to, to everyone. It's up to us, people who care, to change the misconceptions and let America realize that atheists deserve love, friendship and trust just like everyone else.